everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'll cover a really cheap and easy way to make your own trellis. So let's get started. To make my trellis, I'm using these 1x2s. They're just $1 each from Home Depot. These 1x2s are 8 feet long. I'll be using 4 1x2s. I'm making just one cut in these 4 1x2s, dividing them into 3 foot 4 inch piece and 4 foot 8 inch piece. The exact dimension of these 1x2s is 1.5 inch by 3 quarters of an inch. The frame constructed from these 1x2s will be 3 foot 7 inches wide and 4 foot 8 inches tall. This will fit really nicely into a 4 foot wide raised bed. I first mark the wood and then cut the mark pieces. I arranged the cut pieces into a square frame. I first pre-drilled a pilot hole to prevent wood from splitting and then joined the two pieces of wood with the screw. To increase the strength, I added a brace to secure the joint. I did the same by first drilling a pilot hole and then inserting a screw to secure the joint. Now I'm using a redwood stake which will be attached to the bottom of the trellis. I simply attached the stake to the trellis with two to three screws. The frame is ready and the redwood stakes will drive into the ground and will resist rot. Now I'm adding small nails all along the perimeter of the frame at 6 inch intervals. I did not drive the nail all the way in because I'll be using these nails as anchors for threading and weaving the frame. And now it's time to thread and weave the frame to create the trellis. For weaving the frame with thread, I'm using 100% cotton thread. I do not want to use any thread that contains polyester or plastic. This thread is only $3 and it is 342 feet long, which is enough to make 5 trellises. I simply secured one end of the thread to the nail and then started to weave the trellis. The weaving is done and the trellis is ready and I made two sets of these trellis. I then staked the first trellis in place. I staked the second trellis right behind the first trellis with two feet of distance. I then attached both trellis together with two foot piece of wood on top of the trellis. Then I intertwined my green bean plants into the trellis. The plants have adequate support and enough space to climb. Connecting both trellis together makes the structure very strong and prevents the trellis from toppling over. Both trellis together fit right into a 4 foot wide raised bed. Now the reason why I said you must use a cotton string is because you could use a wire mesh or chicken wire. However, all of these plants are going to grow into the chicken wire and they're going to get intertwined. So it's going to be really painstaking to get rid of all the plants to save your chicken wire. This way you can just snip off the cotton string and compost everything along with your plants and the cotton string. And that's also another reason you should not use polyester string because 100% cotton is compostable. The redwood stakes are perfect for driving in the ground as they naturally resist rot and decay. Even if the stakes begin to rot, I can easily unscrew the stakes and install new stakes leaving the entire trellis intact. The whole trellis structure turned out to be very beautiful and makes the garden look even more attractive. The cost of both trellis came out to be $7.50. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you make these really cheap DIY trellises for your garden and I'll see you in another video.